The Elves and the Shoemaker Once upon a time, in a small village, there lived a shoemaker and his wife. They were poor but lived happily together, filled with love. As times got tough, the shoemaker realized he had to use his last piece of leather. I'll use this last piece to make one last pair of shoes. I really hope someone buys them, he said. His wife kindly said to him, The shoes you make are really wonderful. I'm sure something good will happen, I believe it, replied the shoemaker. Carefully, the shoemaker cut the leather and prepared to make the shoes. Tired from the day's work, he quickly fell asleep. The next morning, the shoemaker and his wife were amazed to find a pair of perfectly crafted shoes on the workbench. The wife exclaimed, This is truly wonderful. These shoes look like they're made by magic. Who could have made such wonderful shoes? Indeed, I'm curious too. Let's hide tonight and see who is making these shoes, suggested the shoemaker. The shoes sold quickly, and with the profit, they bought new leather to make more shoes. They decided to stay awake all night to find out who their helper was. That night, the shoemaker and his wife waited quietly. Suddenly, two little elves appeared and started making shoes. They moved incredibly fast and skillfully, their little hands almost working like magic. The elves wore worn-out clothes, but they worked hard and with great care. The wife said, Now I see. These little friends are helping us. How can we help them in return? What about making new clothes for their worn-out attire? Suggested the shoemaker. So, the shoemaker and his wife decided to make warm and comfortable clothes for the elves as a way of thanking them for their help. That night, when the elves came back, they found new clothes made to their size and danced with joy. When they left the house, the elves said, May the kind people who gave us these wonderful clothes be filled with good fortune. After that, the elves never appeared again, but the shoemaker and his wife always lived happily, thanks to the wealth they acquired with the elves' help. I hope today's story brought you joy and happiness. I'll come back next time with an even more special story. Until next time, please do hit the like button, share and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.